Hello, and welcome to another session on using the new Blender for video editing. Today we're going to talk about how you can add or remove borders from videos. Uh, so Blender recently made some changes where how the videos get imported and what happens behind the scenes is different now. So we're going to show you how you can do it in the new Blender 2.92. Okay, so we'll start by opening up a video editing session and I will add in the video file that has borders. Here we go. And let's see what we got. Okay, so first off, if we go over here, you can see the scene is currently set to 1920 by 1080. So for this first uh, demonstration, we're gonna to try to remove the borders. That means we're gonna to have to change that resolution so that it is really just the video content itself. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. And uh, let's go down over here. So under the properties of the video portion of that file, if we go to source, you can see the resolution is 1914 by 358. And when I look inside the preview here, I can see uh, there's no borders along the top or bottom, just along the right and left sides. So that means uh, first thing to do is to adjust the scene di uh, dimensions, the resolution, to match to our input video. And then we have to further um, shrink the left and right side so that we don't see the borders anymore. Uh, so the easy way to get the uh, scene dimensions to match to your source video is to go to strip, movie strip, and set render size. But now we have a problem because of the new changes to Blender. Let me press the home key here in the preview to make that as large as possible and I'll just zoom it out a bit. And the issue here is that while we do have the dimensions set the same now, 914, 358 to our input resolution, if we scroll up here, there's this new panel called transform. And if I open that up, when we had first imported this video into Blender, it had set this X and Y scale just so that the, the video content could match the existing scene dimensions. So what we want to do is set that to one on each of them. So I'll press one, press tab, and one, and press enter. There we go. So this is what it ought to look like. And you can see very clearly, so we have those black bars. And now it's just a matter of trying to figure out how thick are they? How, what resolution should we, should we set so that we can't see them anymore? And to do that, one thing we can try to get an estimate of it is to use the mouse in the preview. If I zoom it in, I can uh, hold down on Shift B. That creates this little drag and this little boxing tool. I can click and drag to get a region of that and it'll zoom in. And what I can do from here, I can left click here and you can see there it's showing in the, um, in the bottom left corner of the preview, the X value. I'm watching that X value and I can see it goes from zero until that looks like about 30. So zero to 30, that's probably the, the border amount there on the left and right sides. So let me press the home key again. And now with that in mind, I'm gonna go click over here on resolution and I'll say it's 914 minus 30 times two, okay? Right? Because 30 on the left and right sides, press enter. And I think we're done. This is actually my first time doing this. <laughs> yeah, that looks like it worked out very well. So if I just scrub across the video, yeah, that looks great. Okay, so we're ready to render this out. Um, and you can refer to my previous videos on how you can set up the, the rendering for that. Right, okay, so that's it. That's how you can remove borders. If you have uh, top and bottom borders, then you would do the same thing, except instead of clicking and dragging and looking from left to right, you'd be going up and down and looking at the, the Y value to see how that changes. Okay, so that's how you can go about removing borders. Now let's talk about how to add borders. In this case, you have two choices. First choice is you will increase the resolution of your scene so that it is larger than your input video, Blender at that point will add a black border for you. 
In Blender, when there is no content, then there will just be black. Uh, you could also set a color if you wanted to, just by having a color strip underneath your video content. But anyway, that's the first option to increase the resolution. And let's let's do that now. Before we start working on it, I'm going to create a copy of this scene, so I can a full copy, so I can come back to it and show you the other option later. Okay, so here we are in our full copy. I'm going to call this uh, expand resolution, just so I know what I'm looking at. This, so here we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just increase it. In fact, I'm gonna use that 30 that we had from before, and I'll add that back in. So I'll take that X and I'll say plus 30 times two, and then to the Y, we're gonna add some to the top and bottom, plus 30 times two. Okay, so now if I, Press the home key. You can see that uh, on the left and right, because of the fact that the input video actually had those borders, that's why we can see black. But along the top and bottom, it's the checkerboard effect, meaning there's nothing there. Uh, in that case, it will come out as black when we render it. And we'll have our black borders all the way across uh, through the adjustment of the resolution. And just to uh, to show you that whole thing I mentioned about adding your own color. So let's let's pretend that these black borders weren't here. I'm going to press G here and grab and move this up a bit. I'll jump to the beginning and I will add a color strip. Drag that all the way over and I will set this to let's say purple, sure purple. And right now nothing's showing yet because of the fact that we need to go over, we need to click on the video strip and change the blend mode to something like overdrop. There we go. So now we can see our uh, selected color along the top and bottom. Again, not the left and right, but that's because the video that we imported actually had those borders already. I mean, of course I can, I can increase this some more. I can give it another 30 on each side. And there we go. Now we can see borders across it. a true uh, purple border uh, around the entire video content. Okay, so that was the first option with expanding the resolution. The second option, if I come back to the original scene, is we keep the resolution as it is, but we just scale the content down. So with this video strip still selected, okay, I'm going to go down over here to transform, and we'll just change these values. We'll make them smaller. Let's say we set it to 95%. So that's 0 0.95, 0 0.95. And there we have it. So again, you can see if I zoom it out a little bit, it's a little bit hard to see. So I'm going to actually drop it even more. Let's say 0.75. So it's 75% there. So same deal here. The checkerboard effect means it'll be, uh, it'll come out as black, but we could also put in a color strip and then we would have that color uh, as the border for our video and it will render out nice it will render out that way. In fact, in this one, I will go ahead and render it. So let me just go down to here. I'll just call this, call this example MP4. Oops, MP4, sorry. Okay, actually, let me drag this across a little bit more. Set that to FFmpeg video, click on that. By the way, I'm going quickly here, but I ex do explain everything in, in one of my other videos on how to, how to do that. And also audio. Yes. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to hit a render. And that was fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to, go there. Okay. All right, and let's watch that video. Here we go. Example. And there it is with the black borders. Nice and exactly as expected. Okay. So there you have it. How to add and remove borders in the new version of Blender. So I hope you did like that. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more content when it comes. Thanks and bye now.